Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a different kind of video for you. This was a tag that went around a while back, and I don't even know if I was even ever tagged to do this, but I knew that I wanted to do this video for you guys. So the tag is 10 things I wish I knew 10 years ago. I have the list on my phone here. Um, now, I want to take that timeline and push it back even further, because 10 years would only take me back to when I was 21. I'm 31 now. I'd like to go back even further, like, into growing up and school and all of that. So let me go ahead and jump into it. Number one is... Don't judge a book by its cover. And this is something that I wish I would have learned to embrace a long time ago, because I know I'm guilty of it as well, and I mean, we all are. It's it's easy to be judgmental towards other people. Um, it's easy to make assumptions, and really that's probably the better word, is to, you know, it's easy to assume things about other people when you don't know them. Um, and, you know, when you think about it, it takes a long time to get to know someone well, and it takes a long time to make friends, you know, like make real friends and you don't really know a person until you've actually become friends with them, you know? So um, that's definitely one thing that um, that I wish I would have learned a long time ago. And something else about that is I know in my own personal experience, like when I was growing up in school, um, I was always very quiet and really quite shy and so a lot of people would uh, assumed that I was a snob or, you know, very snooty, and really I wasn't, but they never, you know, no one talked to me, and then, therefore, I didn't talk to anyone else because I was so shy, and so it just kind of, like, went on like that until I finally, finally broke out of that, you know, in my high school years, but, um, yeah, and even, I mean, even beyond high school, even when I was an adult and I, I was getting this job at this sports shop, um, I remember... The first for the first two weeks of me working there like and almost no employee would talk to me uh, or you know no co-worker and they it was because I was quiet and I was kind of nervous starting out so they thought I was kind of snobby um, until they got to know me and then we had a blast so you know sometimes it, just keep in mind it takes time to actually get to know a person so you don't want to judge a book by its cover okay number two is being different is a good thing and I cannot like express this enough to you like if you're in school or whatever age you are um, just embrace yourself and who you are and uh, whether you're different than other people that is a good thing I mean whether you dress differently look differently whatever it is it's a good thing trust me um, when I was in school like I said I was quiet and shy and I really I stood out in that way and but also at the same time you're also kind of overlooked and ignored and off to the side and third wheel type of thing you know so I had a really hard time making friends and um, I didn't dress cool um, I like all my clothes were from thrift stores and I mean today I love to go to thrift stores and shop so I'm like still kind of the same in that way you know it's like I mean, I have, I don't have like the best fashion sense or whatever. I just dress in what I like and what I'm comfortable in. And I've always kind of been like that. And that is okay. Um, so I need to express that to you guys. Uh, for anyone out there, if you're going to school or whatever, if your parents can't afford the cool, you know, the hot clothes, um, whatever, whatever's hot, you know, trendy that year or whatever, that's okay if you can't afford that. You know, my parents never could. That's why we shopped at thrift stores. So I had like, you know, dollar pants and dollar tops and like a five dollar jacket. It's like, that's just how it was. So yeah, so being different is okay. And so it's definitely something that should be embraced. Um, number three, kind of on that same subject is get to know yourself and appreciate who you are and your heritage. Okay, so that's how I'm kind of getting into your heritage, your genetics. Um, so like, you know, your characteristics, features about yourself. Um, we don't always like all of the features that we have, you know, we don't always like our own characteristics, but learn to embrace that. Um, because, you know, yeah, I have you know, I can say, oh gosh, yeah, I don't like my natural hair texture because it's really frizzy and fluffy and, you know, I've been known to complain about it. But really, um, you know, I got that from my mom and I love her to pieces, you know, and she's, she is Mexican and so I have that heritage and, you know, I might not like, you know, my frizzy fluffy hair, but you've got to embrace your heritage, you know what I'm saying? So don't get down on characteristics or what am what am I doing here? Am I getting teary-eyed? Don't 
don't do that. Okay, Whew. talking about my mom does that sometimes. Yeah, so, so number three, just get to know yourself deep down, appreciate your heritage, appreciate where you've come from, and you know, your, your family tree and whatever traits that you and your family have, just appreciate those things. They're good things, they make you different and that's a good thing. Number four, relationships. Okay, I could do a whole video on just relationships, but we're gonna try to get to the point here. So, mainly I wanna say is don't waste your time being in a crap relationship, okay? I've been there. You don't wanna do that. Um, if you're doing the makeup breakup thing, you don't want that. If you're doing, you know, the roller coaster, it's good, it's bad, it's, you know, high points, low points. I mean, every relationship has high points and low points, don't get me wrong. but. If you're really like hitting rock bottom and then up and down, you know, that whole roller coaster thing, the whole like yo yo, if you've got someone yo yoing you around, that's what I used to call it, um, you just don't want to be a part of that. You know, just cut yourself loose and move on. It's better, it's healthier for you to not be, not allow yourself to be in a crappy relationship. Um, and not to say that the person on the other side, you know, whoever you're with, it's not that they're a bad person, it's just that they're not the right person for you, you know? So you guys might not be clicking um, properly. So I've been there, I, I know that. That's all I'll say about that. Okay, okay, well on that subject, I do need to mention that the longer that you are in that relationship that is going nowhere, whether you guys are like on different planes, like you know what you want and he is not on the same course as you, not wanting the same things, not wanting the end result with you, um, you're wasting your time. And the longer that you spend with that person wasting your time, hoping that they'll change, or that's another thing, don't try to change a guy, don't try to change anyone for that matter. But the longer you're in that, the more possibility you have of missing your Mr. Right. So the longer you spend with Mr. Wrong, you don't wanna you know, do that and then miss Mr. Right. Number five, always do your best in whatever you are doing. So I have another saying, I don't know if I should say it on here, but I, I always tend to say don't half-ass it, you know? Like if I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it right. And that, that's not to say that I don't make mistakes. I make mistakes all the time. But, you know, just do your best. If you're always doing your best, then you don't have any regrets. Number six, whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. And what that means is it's all in your thinking, it's all in your attitude, it's all in whatever you can achieve in life or a project or whatever you're doing, whatever you think you can do, you can, you can achieve it. And if you think you can't, well, then you can't, you're not gonna be able to. So it's all based on your thinking and if you have you know, those positive thoughts, you're gonna be able to break through any barriers or any roadblocks that might come your way. But if you let those roadblocks stop you and you just turn around and give up, well, then that's what you get. So either way, whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. Number seven, making money. Okay, so what do I wish I knew 10 to 20 years ago about making money. Okay, I wish that someone would have sat me down and said, listen, there's all kinds of ways to make money in this world. You can succeed in any of them. Whatever you wanna do, you can do it. Um, and I, I didn't have that. I didn't have anyone talking to me about money. Um, all I knew was uh, growing up, we were very poor, we didn't have money, and every day was a freaking struggle. So, um, all I knew from that, or what I took away from that, was that I didn't want that. So that pushed me, like going through that pushed me into um, trying to be successful, trying to find success, and um, but of course having fun and enjoying myself at the same time. I knew that I didn't want a 9 to 5 job because that's just not me. And I, I didn't know what I exactly wanted to do. I didn't go to college. I dropped out of high school. That's like... You know, most people would look at it and be like, oh geez, you got no chance. But no, I am here to tell you, I don't care what your situation is, you can come out of it ahead and successful. Um, a lot of people do, and you know, a lot of people become millionaires. I'm not trying to become a millionaire, I'm just saying, you know, I like to be comfortable, I don't like to stress about money, that causes fights, it's unhealthy, it's stressful, any kind of stress is, you know, not healthy. Uh, and I know that money is the root of a lot of people's stresses, you know. 
So I would just tell anyone who is like just getting in the job market or whatever the case may be, um, just know that there's all different ways of making money and you there's a way out there for you that you will enjoy and be able to make money at. Um, you don't have to do a job that you don't like. You don't have to go fill out a bunch of applications and try to get a job that you don't like. I remember doing that. I was like filling out all these applications trying to get jobs that I didn't even want and it's just, you know, that doesn't make sense. So I want to just point out to anyone out there, you don't have to do that. That There's different ways of making money and um, you can be successful in any of them. And you can be successful in doing something that you enjoy every single day. Number eight, live and let live. And this kind of goes into the whole, like, don't be so critical of other people. Because you know what, we're living right now. I mean, this is it and we don't want to waste time being critical and judgmental and spend, spend our time, our precious time, nitpicking others apart. It just, you know, it only affects ourselves negatively and we just don't want to do that. Um, you know, like I said, life's too short. You're living right now. Take advantage of every day. Um, enjoy your family, enjoy your friends, and be happy. Have fun and, you know, be more lighthearted and not so negative. Don't let negativity consume you. Number nine, no stress, only progress. And that's a little saying that I came up with just to remind myself because I tend to get anxious or stress out about things and I have a hard time relaxing sometimes. So I just came up with that, no stress, only progress, just to remind myself that, you know, we are living right now. They're like stressing and worrying and being anxious about things or things to come in the future. It doesn't do anything, it doesn't accomplish anything. So it's really quite pointless. So once I kind of like, grasped that. Um, I kind of was able to let go of a lot of stress and pressure and just be like, whatever life throws at you, that's okay, that's fine. Um, you know what? No stress. No stress over it. Just keep on progressing. Number 10, don't be afraid of making mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes. It's what helps you learn. It's completely a necessary part of learning. And I think that for me, in my experience, when I was quite young and growing up, I always felt like everything I did was wrong. And I, I was just always feeling like I was always messing up and couldn't do anything right. So, um, yeah, my household wasn't, wasn't exactly nurturing for kids anyway. So, anyways, um, you know, it's just, you don't want to create that fear like I did. I started, like, creating this feeling inside where I was kind of afraid to do things for fear of making a mistake. So that having that kind of attitude really holds you back and you don't want to do that. Don't have that kind of attitude. Um, you know, don't be afraid of making mistakes. You need to get out there. I was, I was always kind of afraid of putting myself out there, um, putting myself doing anything, doing things in front of other people. I just always felt like I was going to screw up, you know? So yeah, just, just know that making mistakes is a part of life and it's, you should embrace it. You should embrace it because making mistakes is a necessary part of the learning experience. So that's pretty much all I have to say on that. And um, yeah, so I, thought, I guess that's 10, 10 things. So I don't know if this was helpful. I don't know if this is gonna be a lot of rambling by the time I get done editing, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.